You were telling me that you were drinking for all the wrong reasons, and I was telling you that that's not a real good idea. Oh, trust me, I used up all my great ideas coming to this place. I may pour you another drink on two conditions. The first is that you smarten your act up. The second is that you stop bagging this town. There's been quite enough of that going on lately. OK, deal. This flaming needle on the beach has got everyone carrying on. How long do you reckon this will go on for? Long as the press keep their foot on the accelerator and the way they're going, who knows? Yeah, no sign of it happening anytime soon. We're on off our feet with it. Well, now that you're here, you've got one more job. Make sure she behaves herself. <laughs> so I need to call for backup. <laughs> I would. One drink, I promise. I've seen you around, but I don't think we've actually met. I'm Charlie. Uh, Bianca, Charlie, Ruby's mum. Yes. The police officer. Yes, again. Right. Um, can I have a seat while I wait for my boyfriend? Of course. I'm just gonna get a white wine, please, Elf. Yeah, sure, though. Thanks. Charlie, can I ask you a police-related question? Go for it. Is it possible to take up Navy O on someone who's being really annoying? Uh, well, that depends if they're being threatening and really annoying at the same time. And by the way, you're looking at Liam. I'm assuming he's the one who's in danger. He's safe. For now. I've only ever hit a guy once. Do I really want to hear this? I just found him in bed with another woman. Oh, classy. Yeah, I'd like to think he was. But that doesn't matter when you turn out to be untrustworthy. Or arrogant. Fast forward, please. Well, he tried to talk to me later at Angelo's, but I wouldn't listen. I ended up talking to Charlie Buckton instead. You know what, thanks for listening to me talk about my ex. I haven't really been able to with April. Why is that? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Hey, the guy cheated on you. He didn't deserve you. No, it was more the other way around, according to his parents. They never thought I deserved him. They just thought I was something he picked up on holiday. Oh, what, like bird flu? Ah, you see, if he brought that home, they probably would have been a lot happier. That can be cured. Now, you see, Victoria was engaged when we first met, and his fiance at the time, they thought was absolutely perfect. OK, I can see how that would have been a bit messy, but I'm assuming he got rid of the fiance. Mm. It was kind of an arranged marriage between the two families. What? I don't even think they still did that. Yeah, so his parents were furious when he told them he wanted to marry me instead. You were engaged? Mm. Oh, my gosh. Did you know the girl that he cheated on you with? Mm -hmm. It was the old fiancé. It was our engagement party, and, of course, his parents had invited her. And I found them together in our hotel room. So I hit him. <laughs> and I got on the next available flight. You see, he always said that his parents' opinion didn't matter to him, but in the end, it mattered more than me. I thought I was only after the money, but, um, it made me feel like a princess. But that was a lie. You know what? I'm sure all this happened for a very good reason. I mean, there has to be someone out there a whole lot better than him. Yeah, you see, that's what I keep telling myself, but, um, I don't seem to be listening. <sighs> Can I get you something else to drink? Mm, I'm fine, thanks. Are you okay? You seem agitated. Yeah, I just got a text message from my brother. Not a good thing? I think I was kidding myself. You know, starting up my own business wasn't going to stir up a whole lot of... What? A whole lot of stuff that should have stayed buried. You know, I hope you don't get offended by this, but I'm starting to feel a bit like a stalker hanging around Angelo's every night. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought tonight, when I wait for you, I might have a coffee with Bianca at the diner. No offence taken. Didn't know you were friends with Bianca, though. Yeah. I mean, we don't know each other really well, but she seems nice. A lot nicer than the impression Ruby gave me. I guess that's just a student-teacher thing, though. Is that your brother? How'd you guess? Your expression. It's the same one you had last night. What's going on? Nothing. You don't talk about your family very much. I mean, you don't have to at all. I, well, it's just you've always been there for me when 
I've had family problems and, you know, I would like to do the same. You know how we had the family restaurant? Well, one night a fire broke out in the kitchen. It was a complete accident, but the family were furious. They blamed you. It was on my watch. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, don't they realise there's a lot of open flames in a working kitchen? Yeah, it was still my fault as far as they were concerned. I was supposed to take over the place too. Now it was going to be mine. But then the fire happened. Then my younger brother Paolo happened. He came in, took over the whole business, and I had to start looking for a new career. So if you want to know why it took me so long to get into the restaurant industry, then there's your answer. I mean, it seems like they're texting you a lot now. Maybe they're trying to make amends. Yeah, well, it's a bit late for that. Impossible. And working with him is... Impossible. Infuriating. But you like him. No! I, <laughs> no, you see, he's, he's so far from my type. That's, that's the whole point. I don't even know how I ended up kissing him. Oh, excuse me, you kissed him. It was a mistake. Like all the men in my life, apparently. When did this happen? Only today at the surf club. How? Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you kind of just bailed before. I thought you must have been upset about what happened. I just had to get back to school. What are we even talking about here? The kiss? <sighs> We've been like that, are we? Look, I'm just clarifying topic of conversation. But we were talking about a platonic date, and you took it the wrong way and kissed me. Uh, that's not exactly the way I remember it, Bianca. You made a bad call. And that's a mistake we're both going to have to live with. Hey, what was it? The only mistake I've made out of any of this was trying to be your friend. But don't worry, because that ends right now. Good. Oh, you are unbelievable. Now that you are the most rude, self-involved, obnoxious, non-princess I have ever met. <gasps> what was that for? Why don't you keep your stupid opinions to yourself? OK, when I asked what happened, I was not expecting that. Join the club.